Hey friends, welcome back. Thank you all for being here today. I really appreciate those of you that are hanging in there with me as I'm learning this um, new journey of um, vlogging on YouTube. Uh, it's not quite as easy as you might think to stand in front of the camera and speak and talk and share your home. Um, and I just appreciate all of those women out there that are so encouraging and that do it so well. Um, you give us a lot to aspire to. I just wanted to also point out I'm sharing my home and my decor. It may not be for everyone, but I'm sharing it because sometimes I feel like you do something and it brings you a lot of joy and it might actually bring some joy and inspiration to others as well. So that's why I'm here. Anyway, um, today we're going to focus on this door behind me and I have a wreath on here that I rotate decor on. Um, yes, that's the inside of the door. That's where I have my wreath. I do used to, for years, have a wreath on the outside as well, both the inside and the outside. This year, I've decided to pull off on the wreath on the outside, um, mainly because this summer I had a bird's nest that had five little blue bit bluebird shells in there um and then i watched them birth i never did get to see them take off though so that having birds on your front door in a nest every time the door opens and closes it just really stressed me out and i just was so worried about those little birdies um and it's not the first year we've had that happen i've had it happen several years finally this year i just decided mm, we're gonna skip that for a little bit and We'll um, try to decorate everything outside. So anyway, um, I know I promised y'all a peek at the front porch. I'm not quite ready to reveal that yet. Um, I've been tweaking a few things on there, and that, so that's going to take a little more time. But today, I did want to show you, we'll work on the wreath on the front door, and I'll show you my foyer decor. And then also, if you hang around long enough, we're going to um, swoop back through the dining room for a bit, just really quickly to show you the finally the completed um, wall with the hangers that I can hang my plates on. And um, also, I over the weekend did a little uh, tablescape for fall on my dining room table. And even though I said I wasn't going to decorate my hutch, well, you know, I started doing some decorating with the table and setting that up and pulling things from that cabinet. And I remembered I have some plates that I can use to decorate and it won't be pulling everything out of the hutch. It'll just be adding some more and while I'm already pulling some other pieces. So anyway, I'm trying to cover my tracks here in case you hadn't noticed, but um, never say never because, yes, I did go back and I decorated that hutch. We'll take a look at that, and I hope you'll stick around to enjoy the sweet little video that I made of the tablescape. Uh, that was kind of fun, so let's get started. I think what I'm going to start with are the acorn picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. Just need to fluff them out a bit. Always open up your greenery, spread them out, give them room to breathe. Honestly, you know, I I like that <laughs> look just like that. I have two more um, acorn picks that I could use, but we're going to go a little bit further and do just a bit more. Okay, we're going to add some leaves. We need some more color. Um, this looks great. This is more of what I like. It's more muted look. But we're going for full-on fall this year, so let's take a look and see. Um, I've just taken my little 
leafy piece and I've kind of given a little S shape to it. I don't know if you can see that. Just to give it a little more character. Okay, now we're gonna stick that one in there. Okay. Same on this one. Let's do a little S shape. There we go. I like to do the S shape. It gives a little more nature, more natural look for nature. Okay. Let's put this one right in here. That's working good for me. I need to bring the acorns towards the front a little more though. There we go. Huh? As you'll see, I've kind of been spreading those out to the side on each side. I'm doing that because I'm coming in in the middle with this piece right here. Um, isn't that sweet? Okay, here we go. So then this one, we're just gonna come straight in here. And there we go. Oh, nice. Okay, let's bring those Acorns back around, so we're not covering all of that. Uh oh, what's going on here? Can I stick that one right in? There we And there you are, a pop of color. Okay, now that the, the front door is all finished and looking really pretty, let's move on and I'll show you the foyer that I've already decorated. First, I wanna show you my foyer table that I found on Marketplace. Uh, this has probably been a couple years now. I searched and searched for a table that was right size until I found this one. I can fit some of my other buffet style tables in here and they worked, but the space to walk through the doorway just felt a little too crowded when the tables stuck out a little too much. So anyway, I looked and looked and finally I found this little beauty for sale and the gentleman Oh, he kind of didn't want to part with it. <laughs> he kept telling me it was his grandmother's and he had so many memories, but it was time to let it go. So I assured him I was going to love it too. And I really, really do. Down on the bottom, I have a basket that I keep. I keep the basket on this um, table year round and I swap out the flowers that are inside. As you can see, I've just put fall leaves here. I've also moved a little wooden stand over to give a little height for my pumpkin, my basket pumpkin. It does have lights. They're very orange. They're a little too orange for me, so I'm not gonna turn it on. Um, and then my filigree pumpkins that I've had for years, they still have these at Hobby Lobby, so you can still get those. On the table top, I have some greenery that I got from my favorite little store down the road that I told you about. And it was actually out for Christmas because it has more of a kind of a snowy look to it. I bought it around Christmas last year. I used it for Christmas, then I kept it out and used it for spring. And 
all winter and I mean winter then spring and summer uh, I just love it um, so anyway usually I have this on the dining room hutch and I decided to bring it off the hutch and bring it here in the foyer I think it just works really well the two pumpkins glass pumpkins I have are from uh, Steinmark when I used to work in the home department there. And then the new mercury glass pumpkin is from Ross. It is new this year. I saw that and I just knew I had to have it. I know mercury glass might not be all the rage anymore, but I still love it and enjoy it. Touches of it here and there. I just think it's so pretty. And I love the topiary style of this one. It was very unique with a beautiful little vine. The little blue jar I usually keep out on this table, for your table all year. I just added some eucalyptus leaves and a little feather just to give a little hint of fall. And over here, this is new. The two mirrors that are on each side of my larger mirror, um, they used to be in my dining room where the wall is with the picture and the oyster plates. But I moved them in here, and I had those sconces hanging on the wall in here already, and I didn't want to get rid of them. So rather than not use the sconces anymore, I just decided to add a little clear hook right on top of the mirror and then hang my sconce. I think it works beautifully. Above here, I have a plaque that I got from Carolina Pottery years ago. I love this plaque and it stays up here year round as well. Okay, here we are in the dining room. And as you can see, I've done a tablescape. Behind me is my hutch, all decorated for fall. And finally, on the wall are my oyster plates. I'm just so thrilled with these. I had to look for certain hooks to hold them. Um, because of the shape that they are. They were a bit of a challenge to get home. But as you can see, they're not perfectly round. So I wanted to have them turned at different angles so they would display nicely. And I had to have a certain hook to do that. So I think that turned out really well. And here we are in front of my hutch. All decorated for fall. I really didn't have much to do. Remember I had the birds already in here. Well, I brought out my turkey plates. I wasn't wanting to bring these out so soon because I kind of felt like we're not quite there yet, we're not in November, but um, you know, the hutch generally stays closed and this is a nice way to enjoy my plates a little bit longer for the season. Because technically they're not really pulled out, they're still put away. They're just a nice accent against the white, the butler's pantry, so cute. And then all I did here was add a few pumpkins and I was done. Oh, I also did a little dusting while I was at it. <laughs> On the table is my tablescape. And I did wanna just do a little bit of a walkthrough on this. I hope you enjoy the video coming up of my dining room and the tablescape that I did. And thank you all so much for popping in again.
hope you have a wonderful week. I'm not exactly sure um, how quickly I'm going to be back. We have an exciting adventure coming ahead. My son is getting married, and so we're all going to be traveling here very soon. Uh, maybe I'll be able to share a little bit of that when it happens, too. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming, and I appreciate the visits. I appreciate the likes, and I'd love to hear some comments and feedback from you guys.